Hey everybody. So here we are in the living room looking at the TV which is ran off of the TV box slim. This is the living room TV box slim. It is essentially the guts of a Acer laptop shoved into a set-top box. So just to be simple, it's a computer. Home theater PC that runs Windows 10 currently. And of course the way we get YouTube on here is through Google Chrome set up to run a kiosk mode with a user agent hack. I covered this back in 2019 when Google decided to end access to YouTube on TV on unofficial devices like your home theater PC. So in that video I cover how to get it working again. So in 2021 during the home project I was over at my parents house and I made a video back then about a discovery about YouTube TV. Not YouTube on TV but YouTube TV the subscription TV service so back in 2021, there was a dispute between Roku and Google over its YouTube TV um, app availability. So to my understanding, Roku pulled the YouTube TV app from its app store. And in response, Google decided to simply add a shortcut to YouTube TV into the YouTube on TV lean back interface. This gives you easy access to the YouTube TV subscription service from the YouTube app. Now of course this is not a Roku, this is a computer but the user agent that the browser is using makes YouTube think that this is a Roku. So we in fact have a shortcut to YouTube TV. So at the moment I'm actually running a free trial of YouTube TV. I signed up that way I could watch FS1, so that way I could watch the return of NASCAR to North Wilkesboro Speedway this weekend. So we currently have a trial set up on YouTube TV, and I am pleased to announce that YouTube TV works great on this. So the thing is, YouTube will allow you, for example, if you've not signed up to YouTube TV before, I think it is, or maybe if you have in the past, I don't know for sure but they will give you 20 minutes of no commitment access to YouTube TV to try it on your TV or device. You don't even have to sign up for the free trial even just to try that. But of course I've actually signed up for the free trial as mentioned to watch NASCAR this weekend return to North Wilkesboro. So been watching a few races and I've watched a few other things on here. Now of course I have not really tried this out in um, detail. I mean I have not tried out the DVR functionality but I imagine it would probably work just fine. Now, of course I can't play anything on here due to obvious reasons but I can just tell you that hey YouTube TV actually works great on this. Now I'll be posting a separate video talking about YouTube TV um, give you my opinions on it but for this video it's just a quick um, Thing about of course YouTube TV on a home through PC thanks to this uh, thanks to Google adding that shortcut to the YouTube lean back interface it's actually pretty easy to get YouTube TV on your home through PC provided you can actually get access to the um, YouTube lean back one thing I should note is certain buttons like for example guide and stuff like that on the Windows Media Center mode do not work I mean, I actually haven't actually tried them, but I'm highly certain they will not work. Like for example, live TV, none of those work because these are buttons that are tied to Windows Media Center, so you're pretty much restricted to your navigation buttons. And the back button does not work. You can see there's Media Center actually loading up. As mentioned, um, these buttons are tied to Windows Media Center, and yes, I do actually have Windows Media Center installed on this thing. So anyways, yeah guys, this is a uh, YouTube TV. One thing I should mention is the back button does not work. I have to go down here and hit the clear button, which is 
the escape button there's a little bit of stuff I've done here uh, with this remote control like these bottom buttons I've actually linked them up to do different functions like for example this one right here um, I think it's alt tab or something like that it, it gets you it, it pulls up everything that's currently open for example the red button is alt F4 which closes out whatever is open the green button is control delete which brings up um, options to sign out and all that good stuff and the yellow button brings up the start menu which I have classic shell slash open shell on here that's kinda how I navigate myself around this thing but anyways yeah back to the point YouTube TV does in fact work on a uh, home theater PC now I don't know how to get direct access to it maybe I could try going to tv.youtube.com with the um, Roku user agent that's not like a step in the future but I mean if you have your home theater PC set up to access YouTube lean back and you have the Roku user agent you can access YouTube TV so I'm going to hit back which is clear and we can go back to YouTube so we can switch back and forth between YouTube TV and YouTube lean back actually so anyways there you go um, in case you wondered yes you can actually access YouTube TV through the lean back interface and it does in fact work so again I'll focus on YouTube TV in a future video and when I do that I'll go ahead and post a card in this video that way you can watch it so anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends. And get the word out. Also, I have a second channel, that's Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.